In this tutorial video, we're going to be seeing what UML is. Now, UML stands for Unified Modeling Language. So let's read out the definition here and then we'll explain precisely what it is and what it does. So the Unified Modeling Language is a general purpose modeling language in the field of software engineering, which is designed to provide a standard way to visualize the design of a system. So it's not a programming language, but rather a modeling methodology. So for example, put yourself in the skin of a person totally devoid of knowledge in the IT world. We had to find a common language between uh, salespeople, IT project managers and IT developers so that this little world of people could interact and understand each other. So that's why uh, they created UML. So with UML you can model all parts of a computer program from its design and conception all the way to its execution. So it's true that some of the diagrams in UML are more suitable for um, IT people, but there are diagrams that show how the program interacts in its operating environment and in these cases uh, knowledge of the business for which the application is being provided to. So um, in UML there are, you can perform different types of uh, diagrams. So I've listed the three here. Uh, these are the three that are the most important and that interest, interest us the most. Uh, but there are a lot more. So there's the use case diagram which determines the different use cases in a computer program. We have the class diagram which allows the modeling of classes and interactions between those classes. And then we have the sequence diagram which is used to display the progress of an application or a program in a given context. Um, so that's a brief explanation on what UML is. In the next step we're going to be seeing how to install a UML plugin uh, in uh, Eclipse. So uh, meet me in the next step. So now we're going to download a plugin, uh, a UML plugin for Eclipse, uh, which is going to let us create UML diagrams. So uh, make sure first of all that you're in Eclipse obviously and then what you want to do is click on help and then click on install new software then click on add here then as a name uh, I just want to type this in uh, object A UML Explorer and then as a location you want to um, copy this link in or type this link in www.objecta.net slash update like so, then click on OK. And um, just to let you know, I already downloaded the plugin previously um, because otherwise we'd be waiting here for five to ten minutes. So um, when you first download the plugin, when you first click on OK, like I just showed you, uh, you have pending written here. That just means that it's downloading, uh, it's currently downloading the files for the plugin. So you just have to wait until that's finished. And when when that is finished, you'll automatically get this. So uh, this is the plugin. Uh, so just simply select it. Make sure all of the uh, files beneath are selected. Then click on Next. And then click on Finish. Then as you can see, it installs the software. Uh, so we'll just wait until that's finished. Now, once the installation is finished, uh, it might ask you to restart Eclipse. So I've already done that here in this case. So uh, just to prove you that, just to prove to you that we've uh, correctly installed the plugin, all you have to do is go to File up here, New, click on Other, scroll down a bit, and as you can see, we have the plugin Object Aid UML diagram, and you can select which diagram you want to create. So that's how you install um, a UML plugin uh, for Eclipse.